Uh, well, hello, I am Banana, and I am captain of <laughs> Agile Esports Evolution. <laughs> We're keeping that, by the way. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's staying, that's staying. Howdy, um, I'm uh, Fluffy XC, co-host of The Info Pit, which is a show that may come back. Well, who knows? Um, I don't actually know at all. I can't even say that. Abs, uh, I, I shot the idea to Abs. <laughs> he completely didn't even say anything about it. Like, he didn't even say anything at all while we were even in VC. So, uh, you know. Oh, no. uh, and I own the esports org, Agile Esports. Um, we'll talk a little bit about it little bit about the org in this as well just to kind of i want to talk a little bit about the direction of the org of course i'll probably make a video uh that's just me talking on this channel as well about the direction of the org what our content creation aims to do all that kind of stuff just letting everybody know probably be the trailer to our channel uh i'll make that i'll probably make it tomorrow morning to be honest with you uh because i have to get i mean like what tomorrow i forget who's supposed to post tomorrow uh but somebody's supposed to have a video and I got to start getting videos too because uh I'm part of the team now so you know Chili posted his video today or no, yeah or no, you got yours on today he he scheduled his today yeah scheduled did you see it for tomorrow yeah I did oh it's 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 okay <laughs> 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 no I like it I like what he did with it I think I'll be brutally honest and I think I told him this too I'm a little iffy on the music he chose yeah uh, that's what I thought just because I it's a little pick up at it's, the end. it's a bit more of a niche style of music is a thing you chose mm -hmm. something that's very like that's what Aggressive, people are gonna look at yeah like yeah, yeah. ryan yeah, <laughs> big facts so uh, you saw especially uh, my ryan <laughs> <laughs> you saw somebody commented on it too and, and was like oh, isn't he a support player <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was fun that was, that was really fun uh, uh, but yeah, so this is a podcast. Uh, we don't even have a name for this or anything of the sort at the moment. We're just recording. Uh, fluffy basically, Nader, the Fluffy Nader, Nader cast. The Fluffy Fluffy Banana cast. That I sound. I, I I don't want to get a logo done for that. So it's a work in progress. Uh, <laughs> fluffy <laughs> Banana. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so. <laughs> You know, we're trying to think of all that kind of stuff, but obviously by the time this goes up, we'll either have one or have a placeholder name, at least. Um, yeah. Maybe we won't even have a name and it'll just be like, hey, this is what we're talking about this week. It might not even be a weekly thing. This could be like an every other day thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, this could be us chatting. We'll just have to see how it goes. I have so many rants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can't talk for too long, though, because it'll, Overwatch. you know. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh we do have teams so basically right now we field teams in overwatch and that's it y you were about to go on a rant before this about uh comp and all that like so you the thing is differences you're a gm player as well, right? <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> you're a gm player i'm a diamond player very different experiences so, like, there's a big difference there's a big big difference in experiences granted i learned today now I say I learned today. I, I've kind of like obviously noticed the patterns and all that kind of stuff ahead of time anyways. Uh, but today really solidified for me that if you're playing in diamond, it's just a smurf off. That's all. Oh, it is. yeah. It's what smurf no, on each even team in GM, is better. Not even kidding. Really? Like not. Well, mm, like the smurfs can't 50 be 50% as ridiculously bad. Yeah, no, they're not like. Because like the thing is, it's like if they're smurfing in GM, they're GMs. Yeah, you know? yeah they're not that Technically, far Technically, they're in their rank. They're. Yeah, they're not far off. But the thing is, it's like you, like mid GM, and or like I guess you could say high GM, but yeah. like forty two, forty three hundred is a completely different game than like low GM. Oh yeah, right. Low GM is it's tough. So like a high a high GM player, like a four or even like technically four point two is a high GM player, but like a four point two player, uh, like smurfing into a four K game makes a difference, mm -hmm. right? It does. I think like the See, 4 one barrier is the next just like big barrier you gotta break like it's like yeah it's it's the weird like like i experienced this in when i was climbing through the ranks from low gold that like 2400 to 2600 was always like super rough and you had to be super try hard because people are either smurfing uh or they're like trying to derank their accounts or something like that and it's the same yeah. thing at 2900 to 3100 and then it's the same thing at like 3400 to 3.6 and then it's 3.9 to 4.1 like at this 3.9 to 4.1 range that i've been bouncing back up and down through it's just been like weird game placements like i'm in a 4.3k average game or i'm in a 3.7k average game 
when I'm at the same rank and it doesn't make any sense, uh, I'm gaining more SR than I'm losing. So I have positive MMR, but it's just like, hey, you're getting unlucky with ball mains and e-girl mercy mains. <laughs> Don't mean to uh, well, I mean, throw anybody obviously. under the bus, but... <laughs> sucks well like playing those heroes is very different up there as well like there there are ball mains that so, i will yeah. play with and against in diamond in, in, and unfortunately it's usually against and i don't say that to be you know i've had a good amount of ball mains on my team as well you know but like the majority of them are bad and like yeah. maybe it's just because they're just playing ball because they're on an alt account we had a ryan on a game earlier that we were playing who was clearly a smurf like he knew what he was doing i mean like high elo smurf yeah. too but he was trolling for the first half of Numbani. Mm -hmm. So he straight, like, he would drop his shield. And, like, this is the thing. He was tactically throwing. And that's honestly the worst kind, <laughs> if we're going to be honest. Like, he would drop his shield directly when he knew that Widow was about to shoot. And they pick me <laughs> off every time, being the Baptiste. Every that's single so bad. time. Right? <laughs> it was awful. And then, like, of course, uh, we were getting kind of upset. And I was getting a little tilted. I was getting really tilted, oh, actually. Yeah. Not going to lie. Uh, and then, like, it dawned on me. I was like, oh, he's fucking, th he, you know, he's trolling, you know? He knows what he's, he's doing. He's not just throwing, but he's straight trolling. He's, he's being smart. smart about it. And that's, that's yeah. the worst Because it dawned part. on me whenever, whenever he kept <laughs> dropping his shield at the exact moments and he kept doing things, these things at, like, certain moments, I'm like, there's no way he doesn't know what he's doing, <laughs> you know? Like... He has to know exactly what he's doing. And our teammates are like, he's bad, he's bad. And I'm like, no. He's really he's good. He's just a dick. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. So, and I'm sitting there and I'm uh, like, um, he was an invoice, obviously. And I message, I was like, bro, just like, I don't know. Some of us want to gain some SR. Yeah. Like, obviously you're a smurf. Come on. Just like, at least full hold and draw. And he said, all right, fair point. And we full held and draw, Drew. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't get a single tick because of like, whenever we push, he just dropped his shield. He'd straight walk in. He'd Narnia charge every single time. He Narnia charged off the map like four times. <laughs> so like there was a part of it where it was tactical throwing and the other part was just hard though, yeah. you know? But so the thing is though, is it's like he, when doing all that kind of stuff as well, when we were defending, it was like we played perfectly. Like I'd heal him. I would frag. He'd shield me, protect. Like it, it was great, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it was that wonderful, like, we actually both knew how to play what we were play the uh, hero in the role that we were doing. So it was great. But we full held. Like, literally full held. They didn't get a tick. Unfortunately, we also did not get a tick. Yep. So it was a draw. But, like, I, I just noticed that, like, playing Diamond and Lower, and honestly, probably even in Masters, uh, it's just a smurf oh, off. Yeah. And if it's not a smurf off, it's RNG. Who got the best which Dude, is why oh i was surprised because i didn't know that you couldn't uh do more than duo in gym oh, yeah i thought you could still six no, down it sucks and like i semi understand why but like at the same time i don't it's gonna make so many people scared to play the game because you don't know if you're gonna get somebody good or not yep. you know it's a gamble and i've said this all throughout my career of overwatch i okay, so csgo don't don't uh um uh, arrest me anybody but i will admit i underage gambled because i played csgo and the exposure with youtubers <laughs> because i played CSGO. the exposure with youtubers and the lack of uh checking of age age verification i did manage to yeah now i ended in profit because i was smart about it i was up like 400 dollars. okay i made big money but that was over like Sorry, two years Grim. i did it for fun but I'm gonna interject real quick by the way yep Grim just sent me a screenshot of him playing comp. Grim, by the way, uh, he may be watching this right now as well. But for everybody who doesn't know, uh, Grim is another member of the org and everything. And he, he's not been doing too hot this season <laughs> when it comes to anything. Um, and it's not, it's not always his fault. Obviously, he'll admit there are some games he's just like, ah, I could have played better, you know. Right now on Arissa, he's a he's a tank main as well. He's much better than me at this, by the way. Uh, he has a nine percent win percentage yep that's rough man and it's like every game he plays and banana was playing with him yesterday right mm -hmm. i think we went or like was it today even. i think we went like three and yeah three. you went even and like it was so bad i remember being in a voice chat with you guys and you're just like no dude you have to just be cursed yeah like it was just a teammate you guys were getting like you're like this that you're that account is cursed. we couldn't even like 100 percent bring him out of it that's wild and he was queuing with you and who i think it was blitz 
maybe. Yeah, him and Blitz have really good synergy yeah. as well. Probably what you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. I think I remember seeing you guys in And then I was earlier, uh, yesterday. I was on healer on a Smurf. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I, that's the thing. I, I I complain about Smurfs and everything, but I'm a massive hypocrite. I just say that because like, I don't know. It's annoying. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, ah, man, I do the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I have like uh, this is the thing. I have two or three accounts now around the same SR, mm -hmm. like around my peak SRs, you know, which is fine because like I lose SR on one, I don't care. I have the other. And it's not like I really care anyways. Uh, just because I don't play the game that much anymore. I have recent, like at the past week I have, but that's because I've had like every day off. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've had the time to just play. But like the thing is, is it's like whenever I'm going to Smurf and stuff, like it's just a way to blow off steam because the game is just in that bad of a state where playing at your actual SR is just not fun. I don't remember yeah. having this kind of struggle with COD, with Halo, any of that kind of stuff, you know? I don't remember having that struggle with this stuff because it's like playing cod and halo i'd play competitively or play like a you know a competitive game mode and i don't know it's just it was the same thing every time i there wasn't a massive issue with smurfs maybe there was a big issue with smurfs i don't know you know but like it was like every game we played it wasn't like clearly obvious smurf mm -hmm. maybe there was one dude really popping off on an enemy team all right cool two of us would focus him or something like that like it wouldn't be that bad but going further than that, it was just rough, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, and but in Overwatch, it's like it's literally constant; it's all the time. Yeah. And I mean, hey, in higher elos as well, you've got like used to they'd be like, ah, oh, maybe a long wait because of your elo, you know? Yep. I don't know if that happens anymore. If it pops up on there saying it's gonna no. be a long wait, <laughs> but like, no, or no, does it? No, I, I mean, uh, no. as support, it's always less than two minutes. I, I would assume it always i would assume it doesn't because you get put into games where it's like top 500 versus masters you know oh, yeah there's and i don't understand that like that never happened before that was a nope. bug before yeah you know like oh god how did this diamond get into a gm game now it's like oh bruh you're like 3200 be prepared to face gms like that's not how that's supposed yeah, to no, be man not at all i get that it's like oh but we want everybody to find a game within a reasonable amount of time bro if you're part game. of the top 0.1% of players yeah you should not be facing diamonds you should not be facing the uh, like the other 9.9% 9 .9 of that well it'd be 9 point you know whatever but like you shouldn't be facing the other like the other 9% of that like top 10% yeah no it's not very like, fun those people are not at your elo They're, it's a different elo completely that's like that's actually like somebody in high bronze and i say high bronze because people that are below 500 cannot queue with high bronze players yeah which is wild because that's the same elo that can't queue with each other that elo is that big mm -hmm. but like so the thing is it's like there are enough people maybe actually uh, i'll get to that in a second but like <laughs> it's one of those where like though like a high that's like a high bronze player playing against like a plat you know what I mean? It's more like them playing against like a mid to high gold. But still, it's like that concept of like, bruh, you're about to get clowned. Oh yeah. It I honestly hated being in that situation. Like I like I said earlier and I sent the screenshot, I was in a game with Mecco on the other team and a top fifteen yeah, support. Who's like number twenty six. Yeah. And we got full held on attack on Temple of Anubis, which was respectable. I mean, I don't think I made any misplays, but we had a Mercy one trick, and then our tanks were foreign. I couldn't understand them. And then... What's up with that, by I the way? I don't know. Like, that ha that seems to happen a lot with high ELO players as well, as they're like, well, like, our tanks didn't speak. Like, are you not on American servers and everything? And if you are on it North American servers, then, like... <sighs> Uh, then it's more understandable. They were you know, Asian. if you're on North American servers and they're not there, maybe they're coming over to be contenders, playing mm -hmm. Al, something like that. But like, you know, like it's it's odd. Basically, yeah. is all I'm saying. Like, it's really strange because it's like, oh, but you're facing Al players, but you're not even at their SR. Yeah, no, you know? I felt really out of place. I mean, it, I was on forced to play Bat because like, what else am I gonna play? But 
Yeah. We also almost full held. I mean, they capped with a minute left. I I did my best to support my team and give them call outs on where to go, but it still wasn't like like I have to hold top 500's hands and it kind of hurts me inside that some of them don't have the same game sense. So it's like it's really rough. But and then yeah, it's, it's just the same situation when I'm putting a 3800 average game. Like I feel really out of place, and mm -hmm. I'm like I don't belong here, because there's a there is seriously a huge difference between mid masters and low GM. Like, yeah, you can peak there, but you'll drop back down if you belong there, and um, it, it's just like the, the each rank is so different. And you know how it how it limits you to queuing like with friends who are not of a certain SR. Like if I'm a GM, I yeah. can't queue with more than so, one other person, and I can't queue right. with someone who's over 350 SR. But I don't want yeah. people who are over 350 SR away from me in my games at all. Exactly. If I can't queue so with if them. you can't, okay. So I was thinking about that earlier. Whenever it was like you can't. Whenever I found out, like when you told me, like you can't queue with more than two, more than one other person in GM. Yeah. And then, like, obviously, you sent me the screenshot of, like, two top, like, 30 players being in your game. And I'm instantly, like, so this is the thing. Why can't you queue with someone more than 350 SR away from you? Yeah. Why can't they make it where you can queue with anyone in GM? And here's the thing, And too. if they're not in GM, they have to be within 200 of GM. How about that, you know? Like, maybe that's it. Or maybe if they're not in GM, they have to be within 350 of your rank. The thing is... So, like, say you're 4,200, you can only queue, if you're going to queue with somebody out of GM, you can only queue with higher than, you know, X. But the better solution other than that, because that's a garbage solution. That doesn't address the real problem. It really doesn't. Yeah. The real problem is that those players are even in your games to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like... So the real solution would be to, I don't know, maybe just make players wait the longer waits. Honestly. You know? Dude, people were on stream and everything playing Minecraft in the background. Mm -hmm. Like, they added custom games and all that. That way, they wouldn't be playing another game in the background while they were trying to play Overwatch. Yeah. Like, whatever. Honestly. You know? Like, who cares? To be completely fair. No one really does. Like... We're going to play the other game anyways. <laughs> like, custom games aren't really that fun. It's basically rotation of Diva Egg, uh, what, Doom Diva Fist Egg, parkour. Tiny Overwatch, Tiny Overwatch teams, <laughs> Doomfist Parkour, <laughs> Lucio Surf, and whatever other. I do like, aim training. You basically rotate between like four or five different things yeah. in aim training as well. Like, you basically rotate between different things. Or you'll do aim training because you want to, like, get better while you're doing that as well. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. That's actually really good. I was trying to do some aim training today, but I am bad. So. <laughs> My Zen uh, aim is getting really good. I was actually good. hitting some decent shots today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was hitting some shots today. I was hitting more yesterday, but what are you going to do about That's it? That's the thing. Uh, I mean, with, like, queuing with Spectre is so much fun because I know who I'm queuing with. And I know that I can play the healer that I play, and I can pop off, and he can pop off. And then, well, like, that's I just can't solo queue in Diamond anymore. I was try I literally tried today because I was like, Oh, I can't either. Bro, the SR that I've gained this season has literally been playing with you, Pain, Grim, Blitz, people who are above that SR, basically Smurfs, <laughs> you know? If not actual Smurfs. <laughs> because, like, yeah. Pain, dude, oh my God, he straight carried a match. Yeah, his Genji is uh, pretty good. He's playing Doom. Yeah, Genji. Doom. He played a little Genji as well. And then I was like, I'm a uh, time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like it's one of those like you know we were, you know, well we played that and everything. And it was it was just straight Smurf time. But it's so much fun. And it is it's actual it is. That's fun. That's the problem. The problem is that that is fun, and playing on actual your actual rank is not fun because you expect people of your own rank to be at the same level of the game as you uh, yeah you know you expect those to be people to be at the whole like oh god i know that lantern is up i'm gonna use like a low a low sr like sort of situation to deal with but like you're like oh dude they've got lantern we need to destroy lantern before we attack their team right that's some low sr stuff dude you know how many times i've been playing in diamond and they don't do that 
Like, what? Yeah. You know how many times I play in silver and they do that? Mm -hmm. And like diamonds don't? And I'm like, what, 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 where's the disconnect? What's happening? How were these guys in silver and my teammates in diamond or in diamond? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like, there are certain things that it's like you just don't understand the difference in IQ for it. Yeah, it's really upsetting sometimes. That's that's what I mentioned earlier. Like I, I have to hold people's hands. It's like I get IGLing is is completely different, but holding hands, like saying, Hey, Arissa, you have to hold this corner so that we can actually hold the point. It 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 baffles me that they don't know positioning. Especially after I worked on a paper, a four page paper for two hours on positioning. <laughs> It's a five-page paper. It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, it's wild, because, like, you literally just hit GM and are, like, barely GM. I and these people who are, like, 40, you'll play in a game where they're, like, yeah. And then, like, you know, you'll play in a game where they're, like, 4,300, something like that. Mm -hmm. And they don't know positioning, and I don't understand it. It's like, I'll be playing, and, like, playing as Tank, I'm literally just, like, I'm, like, 30, 46 right now in Tank. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's wild because like I'll be like 30, 46 and then like I'll play with the tanks that are like 3,300 in my games. I don't know why they get in my, actually I, I can queue with people anywhere from a thousand. So it's whatever, but there'll be like 3,000, 3,300 in my games and they don't know anything when I'm trying to support, you know, mm -hmm. I'm supporting them. Like they're pushing hard and I'm giving them the heels. Like I'm trying to keep them alive to the best of my ability. I'll even throw Lantern out there to save them and everything. Mm -hmm. But like the worst thing is when you're playing at a higher elo and everything, uh, for me, that's like 3,300 and above, uh, where you throw the Lantern to save them and they play outside oh, yeah. of the Lantern. Like you hit, you throw it on them. You tell them you've got invuln, stay in, Yep. you know, fight in, fight in and they walk out of it yep like why would you do that what's the point in walking out of lantern are you trying to kill yourself unless it's to like, like rotate it's really it but not but even rotation for survival like, on defense yeah, yeah it's literally survival <laughs> on defense or offense yeah. like you're trying to throw the damage in i'll heal you you know i'll get you to where you can fight outside of lantern before they take it down because bap can do that oh, yeah very easy and <laughs> yeah exactly and then they like they just walk out of it and i'm like i see how this is <laughs> you know like <laughs> what is even going on i don't know it's really really frustrating sometimes it is this just became a, a rant about like, comp. Hopefully, the next I, one won't be the same. <laughs> I actually had a fun game today on Numbani. Our main tank hey. had a funky mic, and it made him sound funny. And he was a really funny person. Mm. Our off tank was uh, some e girl played playing Sigma named Oni Chan. <laughs> hilarious. You gotta stop calling him e girl. She was hilarious. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then my other support was another e girl who knew how to play Lucio. And I was like, it's kind of hot, not going to lie. But <laughs> she was hilarious as well. That's, and she was talking about Banana how... Just, you're just like, <laughs> your, your love language is Overwatch. Let's be she, real. She was talking about how um, uh, you have taste buds on your, uh, you know, and you can dip them in soy sauce and taste it or sugar water and taste it. And that, all right. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I don't want to think about that. And that's the first thing she says in the match. And I'm giggling my ass <laughs> off. And I'm like, th this is the most fun I've had all day because she made one yeah. joke. And like, that's and wild. we won. On defense, we ran Sig yeah. Monkey. If you have but fun it was so when much playing, fun. you win. That's <laughs> why smurfing is so successful <laughs> because you're having fun. The monkey, after we got a team kill, he like, he primaled and killed like three people and he comes back and does the sign language emote as monkey and goes, hi, Bep, I'm monkey. <laughs> and I, I died. It was beautiful. Like, it was so much fun. I, you can't have that much fun other than when you don't care about your rank. But like, yeah. And then, like, you care about your rank and everything because, like, it's competitive, you know? What, what, the, that's the thing, you're trying, too, about, you know? Uh, that's the thing about, like, only being able to do a Q. Like, like, I mean, Spectre's a little of a, of an unspoken guy. Like, he doesn't talk much, he gives call outs, 
and when I joke around with him, he just giggles. <laughs> That's pretty much <laughs> it. But like, it's so much fun when I can queue with like three other people that I know I can laugh with and still perform yeah. with. It's just, it's yeah. That's why I, I like miss that. Like Grim and Chili. I miss being able to Grim do that. tilts off the face of the earth but god it's fun when we're having fun you know yeah. like <laughs> and chili's the same way he tilts like crazy but like you know still have the issue and everything mm -hmm. i even tried to oh, add one of though. them to my group i tried to add the monkey to my group because he was really good and he was bottom of the top 500 so he was like 40 80 and i was like 40 mm -hmm. 50 at the time so it wasn't that far it said he was already in a group, and then I tried Oni Chan because she was a really good Sigma, uh, already mm -hmm. in a group. So I figured they were grouped together, and then I tried the other support player, and then she already got into a game. And it was this was like thirty seconds uh, after the game ended, because I was laughing when the game ended, like dang. hunched over in my chair. <laughs> I forget <laughs> what I was laughing about, but it's probably something really stupid. <laughs> No, that's kind of how it goes, though. Like, you were having fun, so you were having fun. It was so much fun. But. And then I queued the next game, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Sad boy hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it would happen, I guess. I, I, like, I, can't, right. I can't end myself on a high note when I solo queue, and it's so bad. Man, no, because like you go on a high note and you're just like, let's ride the wave, you know? Yeah, usually the, my rule, my and, like, rule you keep is going. My rule is, I queue until I get two bad losses in a row, like tilting losses. And that's what I mm -hmm. did when I stopped earlier. I was three and four. I was three and two, and I was like, I'll go again. And then I lost. And then I was like, I'll go again. I lost really badly. And uh, thank the Lord no one was recording what happened afterwards i haven't done that in forever but it felt really good to 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 go a little ape shit <laughs> just screamed. i yeah. screamed no. and just <laughs> beat my pillow to death <laughs> It's frustrating, man, and it's really bad when you're like trying to get into I'm this next elo, you know, like you're there, I'm so close. and you just want to get, yeah, because like whenever you get into a new elo and everything, it's like once you get 100 SR into that elo, Smooth you sale. know that you're like, all right, yeah, yeah you're like, all right, Literally. this is okay, I'm here, I'm here, but like if you're still under 100 into it, like you're only, like you're, you know, 2,500, you're... 2060 something you're 4070 you know like mm -hmm. even like 4090 something yeah. that's rough it is because like you just you're trying your best to get in there but like until you hit that 4100 you're not really there mm -hmm. you know there's still the risk that you could lose it all in like three games yeah exactly maybe not if you're like 4090 but you know that's what happened to me so one yeah. I'm one game under gm now again Dang, dude. That's all right. You keep getting back in it, though. You'll, know. you know, it's a grind, and you'll get there. I do. I already have 27 hours this season. Hey, I have that just means the majority points. of the grind's over, man. That just means the majority oh, of the yeah, grind is dude. over. Oh. And maybe, this is the thing. Sometimes, also, like, whenever you're grinding for a rank or really for anything, it's like other people have to maybe have, like, they grind for, like, two hours, and they're in it, you know? You might have to grind for 100. Who knows? Honestly. I played. You just got to keep going until you get there. But, like, that's what you keep doing. So, like, you know, kudos. Big kudos. But I played 84 hours, season 19, and I ended support 3683, and I peaked 3900. I went on a massive losing mm -hmm. streak at the end of the season. I was so depressed, and I was so, like, just, like, down in the dumps, and I was like, there's no way I'm getting back up. I'm not hitting GM. I was so close, blah, blah, blah. Spectre picked me up and was like, bro, next season, I'll get one of my accounts to your rank, and then we'll queue together. That's what we did mm. for half of my grind up in season 20. See, the question is, though, what did you start season 19 at? I started at th the same that I ended. I started 3646. Ooh, that is rough. But, but I peaked see, 3700 shows... season 18. Yeah. So you raised your peak by 200. And then I raised... That's still... That's good. And then this season, I peaked 4053. But I'm, I've been yeah. maintaining this 4K rank for like the past week now. 
and it's frustrating me because I know I should be winning these games, but I'm not. Because, I mean, th th this is also where, like, I can't see my own flaws. Because I see yeah. other people's flaws that are way worse than mine, and I can't see my minor flaws when I look at myself. Like, when I'm playing against ML7 and Jake and Valentine, I can see my little mistakes. I'm like, okay, this I can fix this. And then we play better the next game, and we full cap King's Row with a minute, almost a minute left. Like, and then when I'm queuing, it's just like... I like I I see the ball feeding and I'm like that's why we're losing. It's not because oh my immortality was placed a little off. Oh I should have saved boosts for a second later. I should have waited for a key ability on the enemy. It's because I see flaws in our comp or something weird like that instead of myself. And I can't reflect on myself unless I record it and watch it back. And even then it's rare because i'm still upset that the ball fed on a certain fight <laughs> yeah or... then in the replay you're still looking at ball fed yeah. you know like you're still looking at that which is rough and that's why you guys need a coach but i'm working on it working on it I'm working on it i'm getting there it's a slow and tedious part process especially finding a coach for that team and everything mm -hmm. the issue is most coaches that are coaching like this teams if you're like ah well, i need you to coach for a 4k team they're like oh well are they like top od I mean, they're 4K, so, like, they're going to be top, you know, you're going to be top, like, 10% OD, yeah. Probably, yeah. It's, like, top 50. Oh, no, you're definitely going to be. Yeah. But, like, it's, like, okay, cool. Well, their coaches who can coach that level are wanting to coach, like, top, top OD. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem is we don't, until we get established, it's it's hard to get that kind of thing. Um, and this is, this is our establishing season, which is why it's so pinnacle oh, and so yeah. important to us. But y'all, like I said to you before, y'all had just had a really hard weekend on matches. Obviously, finding out, of, placing out of content, and with ML7, Jake, and Clone Man, and yeah, that crazy match, honestly. And then facing Maryville University right after that, literally the number one test for team. <laughs> and whether that's currently true or not, I'm not sure. But they're crazy, you know. Like rough weekend, really rough. Weekend. It was, but you, you know, so you'll pull back like, and I could see my mistakes. This upcoming weekend will be better for you guys. I know it will be, but you could see your mistakes, yeah, because you had that constant like competition in it. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm not really sure what the strategy would be to improving and everything when it comes to that. Like I would say, like, because you're playing in those GM games, you would expect that you could get your mistakes there and find them and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I think your time might be better off spent reviewing scrims and such like just solo reviewing but scrims. we don't even have someone to record sometimes and then yeah. when we do on the off chance that we do they don't get sent to us even though i request it to be <laughs> sent to us yeah or they leave the org completely <laughs> out of the blue <laughs> saying see ya yeah and yeah and i mean after i hosted that one vod review when we looked over the main team's play because I was really impressed mm. with their positioning. And I was like, this is why they're 4.4K. And we can learn yeah. from this. SNT's uh, vocal vocals went up, calling out where he's going, our, his positioning, his shield placement got better, his pulls got better. So the, the solidity of the main tank role and the importance of it, with him improving, our team went up. Our, like... Yeah. Like, our rocks became more valuable. Our uh, Hanzo became more valuable because you can just aim at the halt. Uh, we have more angles, more space to play in. And then I saw him in his stream one time when he was queuing, doing the aggro shield. Like, I told him, put your shield behind the enemy Arissa and just mm -hmm. blast her face. And she yeah. will either back up or die. And I'm on Lucio, usually... So if it were in a meta scrim and I was on Lucio instead of Zen, I can heal through the shield and Bap can everybody else can shoot the Arissa shield and with how low it is, almost instantly dead. So yeah. he we have his back. It's not like he should be afraid to die. And the Arissa has to back up back up, especially if it's a brand new shield. She doesn't have her cooldown. And then if Sigma puts a shield up there, that's destroyed too, because we're right there. It's our primary yeah, focus. Exactly. We have nothing else to focus on. 
and he i saw him do it in game and i was like this is why we need a coach we need someone instructing mm. and you can't micromanage in game and they won't remember it they'll remember it when mm. you draw on the screen from a bird's a eye view it's difficult to do so it's a difficulty yeah yeah but and that's something we'll work on we'll get that done uh if it's not done by end of month then you already know it's going to happen yep, yep, and everything yep. with me getting stuff done um however that's the episode of recordings going about for like 40 minutes now mm -hmm. just about uh, not quite obviously just about and of course we'll cut some out too as well but we'll leave it here for now um this is not going to be the length of the regular podcast we're probably going to shoot for around an hour on the regular podcast mm -hmm. uh but this one is just going to be like a little taste a little intro uh we'll put the first bit on youtube and uh we'll, we'll probably like actually we'll probably put a good amount of this on youtube um but we're gonna chop it up and it should only end up being like 15 20 minutes maybe mm -hmm. uh whereas i would link if this is on youtube right here which this part will be i know um i'll link down below where you can actually go to our i'm not gonna say where the podcast is gonna be because i haven't even like solidified a position yet <laughs> on like what platform and everything I'm um, sure you'll be able to find it on several different platforms, but the podcast will be below uh, the links to the full podcast if you want to go and listen to that. Uh, if not, hopefully every episode's not going to be us just us ranting about Overwatch <laughs> and competitive scene, but we're very into that right now. Uh, competitive scene, of course, especially, but um, the more competitive scene of tournaments and leagues and all that, that's a big thing that we do. And, you know, on the other... On the other hand, just look out for other content. Um, one of the big content creators we've got on the channel is Banana. So Augers. our very first channel, we very first video we've uploaded is actually his as well. So if you want to go check that out, zoom the video up right now as we like, you know, live, like currently speaking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely not the only one by the time this goes up though. So you know, check out the other videos. Subscribe, look for you know, look for future videos and let us know what you think. Honestly. Uh, let us know and in the description should also be a link to our community discord if you're interested in joining it and i mean you can join it and bug the shit out of me personally <laughs> just ping me at fluffy exe on discord like hop in here ping me be like yo i want to see some of this content or ping our like content director ping chili and just let him know mm -hmm. but you know or ping banana, banana. <laughs> he's, he's not a busy man so what we're do you mean make him busy. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so busy yeah. Is yes, we, we we are we all are but like what you know, is of course we appreciate time? feedback and all that kind of stuff <laughs> um, but we'll see you guys next episode and maybe it won't be about co uh, competitive overwatch next time yeah yeah <laughs> see ya see ya